Good morning. My name is Kalia, and I will be your conference operator today. At this time, I would like to welcome everyone to the CA Wiley ATM conference call. All lines have been placed on mute to prevent any background noise. After the speaker's remarks, there will be a question and answer session. If you would like to ask a question during that time, simply press star, then the number one on your telephone keypad. If you would like to withdraw your question, press the pound key. Thank you. I would now like to turn the call over to our host, Mary Greening. You may begin your conference. Thank you, Kalia. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining the CA Wiley APM webcast this morning. My name is Mary Greening, and I'm the community manager for this community. Uh, we've had a bit of an agenda change for this, morning pre this morning's presentation. We will be introducing our new board as planned. And Scott Williamson, Senior Director of Product Management for the Wiley APM product, will, be, will present on the Customer Validation Program for the Sierra Project. And uh, this will include a bit of a roadmap um, introduction as well. Alexander Andrade, who was going to present this morning, could not make it. Um, so in his place, I will be demoing the Ideas uh, feature, which is a new enhancement request process for the community. Um, and that's what we're going to be doing this morning. Uh, the community now has a new board of directors. You can find their names on the community homepage in the officer's portlet. And I have also posted their bios in the community documents area of the community. Uh, so if you look in the documents folder inside the community documents, you'll find the bio uh, list. Um, I will also have a link later today put up on the welcome area to that document. And now I would like to introduce Hiko Davis. He's our new board president. Uh, you've probably seen Hiko around on the message board. He's been amazing. He's a huge asset to the community, and uh, he's been very, very helpful to um, our members over the years, and uh, we're very grateful to have him as a uh, leader for this community. So, Hiko, welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mary. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm sorry if, uh, if I, I apologize in advance if my uh, – if my uh, cellular signal is bad, I'm actually traveling today, so um, I, I apologize in advance if I break up. I um, uh, just want to uh, thank everyone for uh, attending this morning's uh, session, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, working with everyone over, uh, in the near future and uh, been having a lot of fun, you know, working with the community. And, um, you know, I, I probably, like I said, I probably spend more time on on the community pretty much uh, than doing anything else. So, uh, you know, I, I look forward to working with uh, all of you over the, the coming months. Uh, so just very quickly, I um, uh, just kind of want to mention the name of the, uh, names of the new, new board members. Uh, I myself, of course, uh, is the new president. I uh, uh, have a gentleman named Jean-Pierre, uh, who's the uh, vice president. And... Uh, uh, Keith Palmer, um, and, uh, Manish Paridic, and uh, Swati Joshi. Um, all these folks have had, uh, I've, I've had the um, pleasure of uh, either working with or speaking with over the years, so um, I know that uh, they'll, they'll be a great asset to, uh, to uh, the community uh, and uh, very uh, reachable. If you, uh, most, most everyone on here either... Um, uh, time on the community, uh, either on this, on this forum or on the LinkedIn forum. So, you know, uh, we're all very reachable. So if you, uh, if you ever need to get a hold of us, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, I think at this time I, I will go ahead and turn this over to Scott Williamson from uh, State Product Management. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, uh, to ask uh, at the end of the, end of the presentation. Scott? Thank you, Hiko. Appreciate you and the other board members uh, stepping up to lead this group. Also, uh, thanks to each of you for taking some time out today to uh, listen to the presentation and for your participation in the communities. It's a really important aspect of the product line and, and helps to drive you know, overall interest and, and you guys can help one another uh, advance in your usage of APM. So appreciate everyone's involvement. Um, my name is Scott Williamson. I'm responsible for product management for the application performance management product line. Uh, there are uh, nine product managers on my team, uh, several of whom have presented on this forum before, like Rajmari Pali and Tim Smith. Uh, and we, as a collective group, 
keep uh, APM moving forward. So, uh, you know, again, we we'll, we plan to be involved with the community to get feedback from you guys and ensure we're investing in the right areas going forward. One example of that is something called the Customer Validation Program. Some of you have probably heard of it. Um, I'll I'll fast forward here to the the last slide. What we're doing with the Customer Validation Program is we want to open up our agile development process to customers. The way that we do this is, is twofold. First of all, we have a, a sub-site within the community, a website, where you can gain access. And what we do there is we post recordings of previous sprint demos, um, documents that describe the various features we're working on, that kind of thing, so that you can get access to documentation on what we're doing. The second aspect of it is we, we conduct end of sprint demos. We just had our we just had one yesterday. Um, we've been averaging about thirty to forty attendees per demo, which is solid, uh, but we have thousands of users, so we think we can ramp up the participation in this program and it'll add value to those of you who want to see where we're headed. So uh, if you are interested in tracking along with our progress and providing feedback at a much earlier stage than we could have uh, really uh, allowed before, then I would encourage you to sign up for this. Um, what, what you need to do is go to the link included on this slide here. Uh, it takes you through a click-through agreement on the customer community site. And, uh, and once you do so, it registers you for this program. The agreement includes things like non-disclosure and, and, and such, since we'd be revealing a decent amount of detail about futures. So that's why we require a separate registration uh, for it. So please, uh, please run through that. It should be rapid and automated. Uh, once you get registered, you'll uh, get on the list for invitations to um, these uh, community webcasts. Okay, so uh, what I also wanted to do to uh, hopefully whet your appetite a little bit is run through a real brief roadmap so that you understand where we are in our release cadence and some of the major things we're working on in the next release called Sierra. And if any of those grab you, you know, again, you can learn more and see our progress uh, through this customer validation program. So I'm about to show a, a roadmap slide. This is the usual legal disclaimer that things can and do change. You shouldn't view this as a guarantee of delivery, but rather as a statement of direction. And so here's a... Here's a roadmap slide. So the the last major release we did was in December of, of last year, numbered at 9.1. We've had excellent adoption of 9.1. Several hundred customers began using it in the first quarter upon its release, uh, which is a really rapid clip. It seems to have a, a lot of momentum within the customer community, so hopefully all of you are either already using it or moving towards it. Um, we've done other webcasts previously on, on 9.1 in this forum, so I won't spend more time on that. Uh, I believe there will be a, a, a session with product management on 9.1 coming up in August. So if you'd like a direct line to PMs on the topic of 9.1, we'll be uh, doing some kind of a, you know open open mic with QA or with a PM kind of session on that. We also recently released uh, 911. It's referred here as 91A. It's the first major service pack on the 91 branch. We released that in late May. 911 had a lot of good stuff in it. Um, in addition to the usual bug fixes and platform support, we also included a couple of major integrations with two uh, pieces of technology that we acquired last year. And so we're 
demonstrating momentum and, and integrating those and, and adding value to APM customers. The first is with ITKO. ITKO is a product that is used early in the life cycle of application development to uh, help speed customers through the process of development and testing. In, in, in brief, what it can do is it can simulate constrained backends like mainframes or TIBCO um, messaging systems or MQ or web services or FedEx's shipping service. What, any number of things that your application might depend on, it can pretend to be those things. So it virtualizes the service environment. And uh, we released a couple pieces of integration with ITKO. One is bi-directional integration so that in a pre-production break-fix testing scenario, you can use the, the two together seamlessly. The second is uh, a feed from APM back to ITKO where ITKO can pull APM for production conditions. You know, how, how did the login transaction actually perform at 2 in the morning? or at 2 in the afternoon. Um, and, and you can pull APM for that data so that your test cases mimic uh, production. So two really interesting integrations that uh, you can use those two products together to move more rapidly through the life cycle. We also integrated with something we call Cloud Monitor. This is a, a, a new product that can synthetically you can do synthetic tests from around the world of your application and understand its performance and availability. That data from Cloud Monitor is now fed back into APM so that you can get a unified view uh, from inside and outside your firewall. So uh, we're happy to demonstrate progress on integrating both of those important acquisitions. There's also a number of other things that we're in that 911 release that are listed below. So, 911's um, out the door. Our full attention is now on uh, Sierra, the next major feature release of APM. This is a list of some of the major things we're working on. I will briefly summarize some of the big ones, and then I'll open it up for questions. If you all have questions, I can take uh, questions for, for 10 or 15 minutes here. Uh, first of all, we're revamping the user interface. The mission here is to uh, eventually, and this may take more than one release, but eventually get rid of the workstation. We want all of the UI elements to be in a thin client uh, user interface. This is more convenient for you to access. It enables us to develop the product more rapidly. And so we're, we're making a large push to move as much functionality as possible into a thin client UI in a Sierra release. Second, browser response time monitoring. There's a lot of interest in us providing more visibility into the browser, the end, user, end user's experience at the browser tier. So we're planning to release a feature called browser response time monitoring, which uh, via JavaScript injection, can tell you more about how, what the browser's uh, role in overall transaction performance is. We did a, an interim limited release of this feature in 9.1.1, so, but we did not make it generally available. If you would like to get access to this, we're, we're happy to work with a select number of customers on it. So uh, you can reach out to to me, uh, my, my email address is scott.williamson at ca.com. If you'd like to uh, take a look at the limited release version, we'll continue advancing and improving that in, in the Sierra release. Next is central agent administration. For large customers, managing our agents is a, a, a pain point and uh, something that takes a lot of administrative, administrative time and energy. We want to dramatically reduce that. So we're working on features to be able to monitor agent health, update agent configurations dynamically, and also deal with remote agent upgrades. So look for major improvements in that area in Sierra. 
We also want to make the instrumentation experience more out of the box and more intelligent so that you don't have to spend as much time with uh, PBDs and configurations. We also expect nice uh, improvements in that area. And then uh, we're also looking to help with non-web transaction decoding. The first two will probably be Oracle SQL and Microsoft SQL. We're looking to add support for Spring and Data Power. Uh, we're adding some enhancements through uh, direct work with customers. And finally, we're looking to advance the integration with ITKO. So with that, I'll, uh, I'll open it up for questions. Operator, if, if you could uh, open up a line, I'll take questions for the next 10 minutes or so and then hand it over to Mary. As a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you wish to ask a question or have a comment, please press star followed by the number one on your telephone keypad. We'll pause for just a moment to compile the Q&A roster. Your first question comes from the line of Glenn Wicking. Hi, I was wondering if you could expand on what the capabilities of the JavaScript injection will be for monitoring the browser performance. Sure. Um, it, the general idea is that we'll be able to capture a handful of performance metrics, things like page load time, uh, DOM uh, load time. There are there are a handful of specific metrics that we intend to capture that we can pull back into APM. So first of all, it's just generating performance metrics on 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 load times at the page level. The second step to that is adding that to what we already know. For example, we already do transaction traces, so we intend to add this detail on what's happening to at the browser level with our transaction traces so that you can see it in, conte in context with what's happening on the back end. So that's the general idea. Capture metrics in general on browser health so you can r report and and dashboard on those, and then also integrate that data with you know, things like transaction traces so you get the end-to-end -end picture of a transaction, and as part of that, how's the, how's, how's the response at the browser tier? Does that answer the question? Yeah. Would, would you be able to get any kind of error conditions that occur in the browser that the user experiences, JavaScript errors and things like that? I and believe so. Let let me. I, I'm not sure. I'm not working on that feature myself, but uh, that's a good question, and that's the type of question that we field in these customer validation demos. So first, would encourage you to sign up for that, and then uh, I can get back to you on the error condition question specifically. What was your okay. last name, Glenn? It's a waking. Okay. Um, do you need, need my email address or? Yeah, yeah. If you could email it to me at scott.williamson at ca.com, I'll get back to you. All right, great. Thank you. There are no further questions at this time. Scott, there's okay. some questions in the Q&A. Um, oh, okay. Looks like Ashish wants to know, for non-web transaction, what's the time frame for getting SAP, AB, AP transaction monitoring via CEM? Uh, it's unclear. Um, we well, ABOP. What we're intending to do there's there's a there's a protocol for SAP GUI. I think it's the same thing um, where we could decode legacy SAP transactions. I think that's what you're referring to. Uh, it's very high on the list. It looks at this point unlikely to make it in Sierra. So I would expect sometime thereafter, hopefully the follow-on release. The first couple look like Oracle SQL and Microsoft SQL. The other high priority ones are Oracle Forms, SAP GUI, and MQ seem to be the other top three that we want to tackle as soon as possible. Uh, this is a topic we're going to cover on the next customer validation call where we're going to do a poll to uh, find out which protocols you care most about. Sounds like uh, SAP GUI is, is your favorite. 
And then we have another question from Walt Kaczynski. When do you expect support for IBM WebSphere Application Server version 8 and 8.5? Uh, we added support for, for version 8 in 9.1.1 um, for both distributed and mainframe. Back in 9.0.8, we had support for WebSphere 8 distributed. So there are a couple of different versions where you can get uh, WebSphere 8 support. 8.5 is uh, coming. It's not in yet. We'll, we'll attack that in a future service pack. The next service pack is nine one what we've referred to in, internally as nine one B, probably early October. Uh, eight dot five distributed support is a candidate for that. Usually mainframe follows due to the typical in unavailability of it on this on ZOS for a while. Um, so it'll probably trail that nine one B service pack. Um, and the next question is from Steve Oak. How does the BRTM compare the old with the old BRTA? There are some similarities. We are reusing a code where it's appropriate. Uh, there were some flaws in that prior implementation, so we're not taking it uh, lock, stock, and barrel. But there are elements of it that we do plan to reuse. So it's it's fairly similar in concept, but there have been advancements particularly on the browser end, about the uh, JavaScript injection uh, code that one uses and the techniques to capture data at the browser level. So we'll, we'll be leveraging advancements there. And there are no further questions on the um, live meeting at this time. OK. All right. Okay. Again, thanks, everyone, for your questions and attention. And uh, we'll, we'll look for you on the customer validation program going forward. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. <laughs> OK, so um, next up is ideation. I don't know if any, how many of you have noticed, but we have a new feature on the message board called, or on the uh, community called Ideas. And I'm going to be demoing that today. Um, and this is how, going forward, um, users can request enhancements to the product. Um, let's see, I'll move my slide here to get it started. Um, ideation is a crowdsourcing of product ideas, and um, it's modeled after the award-winning Dell IdeaStorm. Uh, several of the communities in MyCA have it. Um, Wiley is one of the latest ones to add it. Users can submit ideas, and the community members um, vote them up and down. Feel free to comment on ideas that others have submitted. Um, the, the product managers can read all these comments. And um, every month, the product teams uh, status the ideas. So um, they haven't started yet because it's brand new, but they are committed to um, go through once a month as a team and status each of the ideas, or at least the top, the most popular ones. Um, they'll be, I think it is, they're going to pick the most popular ones, maybe anything over 100 votes. Um, they'll look at those and focus on those every month. And um, the way you find the ideas is you're going to go to the community, and there's, I don't know if you've noticed the new navigation that the community has. It's a lot easier to use. Um, but you're usually, you land on the welcome page, but to find ideas, click on the ideas link. And I will go to my live system now and um, get that going. Okay, can everyone see my browser? Or Okay, I'll try this again. Okay, it should be um, loading now. See your inbox. Great. Okay.
Okay. Last try. Yep, we see your browser. Okay, great. So um, this is the home page for the Wiley community. Thank you, Scott. Uh, and this is where you're going to click the ideas. And this is what it looks like once you're in. Uh, you can search for ideas. I highly recommend that um, if you have an idea in mind, you search for it in the uh, search box here using keywords to see if you can find, um, make sure that it doesn't already exist, that somebody hasn't already submitted it. Um, if it, if it ha someone has submitted it already, then you can just vote on it or comment on it. Um, you can also filter by the most popular ideas show up first. Uh, you can look at the most recent ideas, the ones that have been added in the last couple days. I'll click on that. You can also click on the um, the, the most popular ideas of all, um, top all-time ideas, and you can click on comments. Uh, the roadmap for this product is over here on the right, so you can check that out. You can also filter by status. Uh, right now, the statuses are all new on this product, um, on this ideas uh, functionality. But you can also, but as they get, um, as we add uh, statuses, you can filter on status, and the statuses include currently planned. Um, that means they're in the roadmap. Uh, they've already been delivered, and um, there's also a, a status of not planned and under review. So here's um, what they look like. You can promote up or promote down. I'll go back to the most popular ones. You can see that this one has 150 points. Aaron Ritter has um, posted a bunch of them. Thank you, Aaron. Every time uh, somebody asks for a new feature in the in the message boards, he's so kind to add them. So I'm scrolling down and um, just showing you a couple of them. So the way to post an idea is this link right here called Post Idea. And you give your idea a title. Um, try to uh, make it keyword intensive for searches. And then you can um, describe the idea that you want. You can link to um, something to a page um, on the internet. You can add a picture. Um, choose which which category this falls into. If it's a Wiley APM idea or an APM cloud monitor, um, so that we can. Um, that makes it easier for people to, to pick the ideas that they're looking for. And then you just submit it. And once you submit it, then it shows up on the message board, uh, on the, um, the list that we saw before. I'll go back to that. And then um, one of the best practices uh, for getting some attention to your idea, especially if you feel really strongly about it, is to go back to the message board and um, and say, hey, I've posted this idea. This is what it's about. Um, provide a link to it if you can, and um, and let everyone go back to the to the ideas and and vote on it as they will, and that will give it more visibility, and um, and uh, of course increase its popularity so that the product managers can uh, get it in their list. So um, this is a this is a great way to. Um, Get your ideas and your, your enhancement requests into the system uh, and get everyone else involved in voting on it. So if you have any questions, um, you can put them in the Q&A or you can, um, the operator can open up the lines. One last thing before I close out of this is that to get back to the message board from this screen, it is another system, you need to click the Back to Communities link. Um, clicking the back bucket button won't work. So to get back, go back to communities, and you'll you'll go back to the um, my CA. So, uh, Kalia, if you could open up the lines, if there's any questions on this. As a reminder, if you would like to ask a question, please press star followed by the number one on your telephone keypad. And while we're waiting. Um, 
Lisa asked the question, will the IDEA portal be, be added to other CA, CA products as well? Um, it has been added to many, but we're adding them slowly. Um, infrastructure Management has it. Uh, Executive Insight has it, and so does Service Operations Insight. Those are the service assurance products, so they all have them. Um, but Clarity has it. If you have um, a product that you'd like to see ideas added to it, make sure you mention it in the mes message board so that um, the community managers and the product managers can see that you're interested in having that functionality for your community as well. And there are no audio questions. Okay. So um, our next um, our next webcast is on August 16th, and uh, we'll be covering nine, some features in 9.1. Uh, make sure you keep checking the message boards for um, for posts about the uh, webcast, and uh, there's also an email reminder that goes out. Uh, right before the webcast, a couple days beforehand with the call information. So I think that covers everything. We have to make sure you check the um, document library for the bios of the new board. Thank you to Scott Williamson for presenting this morning on short notice. And um, we'll have another uh, session of this webcast this afternoon. Uh, Raj Marapali will be presenting uh, the product um, information um, that Scott presented this morning, and um, we'll be introducing the board again. So um, anyway, if you have any other questions, uh, send me an email at mary.greening at ca.com, and I'll make sure they get to the right people. And um, we have one more question before I close out. Let's see. Um, will the second session follow the initial agenda? Um, I don't know that Alexander, you'll, you'll have to wait and see. Alexander has not gotten back to me. He said he would not make the morning session, um, and he was unclear whether he was going to be making the one this afternoon, so I apologize for that. Um, he let us know in short notice. So uh, I won't know until later on this afternoon whether uh, Alexander will be making his presentation. Thank you for asking. Okay. Um, let me just put up a poll for um, for today's for this morning's presentation. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. If not, if not this afternoon, next month. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thank you. This concludes today's conference call. You may now disconnect.